Welcome everyone. Today we have a new Lost Ark guide video. In this video, we'll look at how to get the level 3 engravings with 5 of them. As you can see behind me, I have made some investment into getting those engravings. This also include getting my skills to level 12 to be equipped. So in this video, what I want to do is, I want to use a number of guides and also tips to share with you guys. So I have made a written guide. There's also tools like the Ability Stone Calculator. There's also tools of counting your engravings. And also, I made tools to keep a track of the auction house prices. So what I want to do is, I want to give you guys the cheapest way to get your level 3 engravings and to get 4 or 5 of them. The method works for 4 engravings and this works the best for 5 engravings because that will be the ultimate end game focus. So in this video, let's go through those step by step. I'll also give you guys tips and also hints of how to buy those items for cheaper. Because I've been monitoring the market, there's times where certain items will be cheaper and different ways of bidding and also different ways of filtering for accessories. We'll go through all of this in this video. Now before we go over to our notes, I do want to warn you guys, it will cost quite a bit of gold to invest into getting your engravings. And you know, if you get into it now or later, you do want to look for a cheaper price point. I did invest over 200,000 gold into this setup. So just so you guys are aware, and I'll tell you guys what cost me the most. The thing that cost me the most is actually the engraving books. I'm trying to get 20 gold engraving books for the level 12 engravings. And if I wasn't buying this, it will cost me less than 100,000 gold to get everything. But the engraving books at the moment in the game is actually costing a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to force first focus on the engraving books. And over here are some of the engraving books I was monitoring. So coming over here, we're going to go to the first step. We'll be trying to get two engraving books to plus 12. And what I do recommend is getting one class engraving and also one cheaper engraving book. What I have decided to go with my end game setup will be Grudge, Cursed Door, King Blum Weapon, which is quite universal. There's also Master Tenacity and also Mayhem. So those are my five engravings. Now coming over to the engraving books, you can see that I've favored them. So what you do is you search up for the books over here. I'll give you guys an example. Grudge, there's a Grudge. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness, even so. so once you search for the engraving books, you can favor those. It takes, takes a while. So it's over here. It takes a while. You click over here to favor them, and then you can monitor the price of the engraving books. I have picked Master Tenacity and also Berserker's Mayhem as the two books I'll be going for. At the time of purchase, I believe this was 2,000 gold. This was about 5,000 gold. It has went up in price. So just be aware of the price difference in your server. Now the question is, why would you want to go with the two of the books if they're not the cheapest? Why do you want to go for the class engraving? It's because later when you look into the filtering of the price point of different engraving books, it is always more expensive than your class engraving plus the other engravings is the most expensive one. And this is one of the reasons if you come over here and look at my accessories, I have a plus three mayhem and a plus three king blunt weapon. Well, everything else is plus five and also plus three because my class engraving combined with anything else is super expensive. And this is why it's the best method to get your engraving books this way, to get 12 levels of the class engraving this way. And of course, be aware you are buying into the engraving books and you're buying 20 books. And it might take some time, you don't have to buy them right away. Buy them when the price is much lower in your server, so you can monitor this for a few days. And this is what I did. I've been refreshing those for a few days to see when the price is a lower point. And remember how I got my Mayhem about 5,000 gold? Now it's back to 7,000 gold with the market inflation. So. What we want to have a look and understand is, once you buy those engraving books, those are not tradable. So pick wisely of the two books you want to invest into the gold level for plus 12. Now, after you look into the engraving books, the next thing you want to bid into is going to be the ability stone. So the ability stone level we'll be looking into will be the relic level for the best chance of high level. And what we'll be aiming for is at least a 7 6 engraving stone. So, no, 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 no engraving stone, ability stone. So, if we come over here and have a look at my ability stone, it is not the best. I actually made a mistake and wasted a lot of gold trying to get this to higher levels, and later on realized I don't have to do this. So, a 7 6 with a plus 12 engravings in crypt over here is enough for everything. So, I even have, you know, plus 3 plus 3 instead of plus 3 plus 5 with my accessories. So, you just need the ability stone to be 7-6. This is the minimum requirement for everything to work. 
Now I do want to highlight to you guys, I have made a mistake of getting an 8-5 instead of 7-6. This is not good. Don't try to get your ability stone to 8-5. I'll show you guys what I mean by that. So notice here I have a lot of leftover ability stones over here. And one of them is an 8-5. So there's an 8, there's a 5-8 over here. So don't go for a plus 5 and then plus 8. I always go for a plus 6 or plus 7 because the numbers will be evenly added when you have a plus three or plus five engraving. Plus eight does not add up correctly. So this is one number you don't want. I prefer seven, six, or nine, but don't for go for eight. So just be aware of this. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Now, while searching for ability stones, I do recommend using ability stone calculator and also do some filtering. So we're gonna talk about filtering at the last part of the video, but right now I just want to show you guys. The latest updated quality of life give us search preset. So you can fill in the search and also save over here. You can see here I've searched a few preset of ability stone. So once you select relic level, tier three and ability stone, select the engravings you wanted to search for. You don't really have to search for the debuff effect. We'll talk about this as well. So once you have those presets searched up, you can search those quickly to see the market price of those items. And over here, you can see there's a market price. Sometimes bidding for those is much cheaper because if you look at the buying out price, those can you know skyrocket into like 7,000 gold. I believe I bought most of mine at 4,000 and 5,000 gold. And I bought a few, I wasted a lot of gold not knowing what's cheaper, right? So if you're going for the bid price, some of the bid price is much cheaper. Now, one thing I want to share with you guys about bidding for those is buy those after weekly reset. So today will be a Thursday weekly reset. If you buy into those ability stones, what you're gonna notice is they are a few thousand gold cheaper because there's a lot of people selling those from the free stones, from the raid, and also from the weekly and also daily events. And this is by far the cheapest point to buy the ability stones. You can save anywhere from like one to 2,000 gold by buying those at this price point. And you know, if luck given, you just need a few of the stones to make it to seven, six. And this is definitely a really good way of buying those for cheaper. And while looking at this, I do recommend using Ability Stone Calculator. The one I used is over here. And this is actually coming from the Reddit post over here by Morbid. This is not an official Ability Stone Calculator. This is made by a third party. So be aware, use this one at your own risk. But there's a lot of positive comments and everyone loves it. So I decided to give it a try. It's actually really nice. So basically you can decide to maximize both equally and the stars will tell you which one to home and which one to go for. And this gives you the highest chance of getting on average 12 success. We're looking for 13 success with six and seven. It is very simple and very straightforward. I don't think I need to, you know, to teach you guys much and you can come over to the reddit post over here but be aware this is a third party website so you know be careful with that it is not the official website for those calculations but it is very useful so i do want to thank our friend over here Morbid, for making this one now that we talk about the ability stones and also the engraving books the next part is the interesting part how do you connect everything together what you have left now with everything is you have left, you got the ability stone, you got the engravings. So the next thing you will be looking into is buying your five accessories. I recommend buying the necklace first. This is by far the most expensive item and the most critical piece. You want to buy something with higher quality. You want to buy something with two main stats and you want something that's, you know, that's really good because this will be the most expensive accessory. For my accessory, I believe I spent 40,000 gold. I could have bought one for about 20 or 30,000 gold, but I prefer the higher quality. So I paid 40,000 gold for this one. Everything else is about 10,000 gold. So this is by far the most expensive accessory. You can downgrade a little bit, but I prefer the higher quality. So coming over here, I do have some notes in binos. What we're looking into, first thing you want to be aware of is to search for the most expensive engraving combination of your build. Remember my build is about those priests, those engravings and also plus mayhem. So you want to search for the cheapest combination of your build. I have made Excel, like a very simple Excel. I'll show you guys over here and I'll share the Excel preset if you want to change the numbers and change the things. So I did necklace, I did earrings, I did rings. Later, I didn't record those because I didn't need to, but I have made a preset for you guys. So I was keeping a track of the price point of different combination of things. You don't have to fill in the thing under the red bars. You just fill up the top ones because they're pretty much the same. So King Blunt Weapon plus King Gun Weapon, that's not happening, right? So I blocked those out. 
keeping up track of the cheapest combination gives me a better chance of getting a cheaper ability stone. And over here, what's important is I'm looking for the cheaper combination of necklace. After getting necklace, the earring and also the rings are actually very cheap comparison. So if you have a look over here, you can see that Grudge plus Mayhem is about 100,000 gold in my server in the market when I was looking at it. And there wasn't any Mayhem plus King Plum weapon. So what's happening is the Mayhem as the class engraving was actually super expensive. And I want to do everything I can to avoid buying an expensive Mayhem engraving. And I can notice other engravings, you know, Blood, Grudge plus King Plum weapon is like 10,000 or 30,000. And some of those are really cheap. So you do want to keep a price point track as you filter for those items. And over here, talking about filters, might as well talk about this as well. So let me show you guys the filters. I have made a bunch of filters for my preset for my necklace. So you go to necklace, go to relic, go to tier three, you search for the preset. And then what you can do is you can go at three, five, and you can search for that. And notice it's like 80,000 and you know, 90,000. And then you change this to five, three because sometimes it may be a cheaper alternative. Notice this is only 17,000. And if you bid into this, and start buying into this, you get a much bigger discount. And this is one of the ways I actually bid into this item. So I think I bid into this item for about 15,000, and I sold this one for 30,000. So while looking for those accessories, you can actually make a profit if you know the market. And coming over here to a brief, you know, explanation of the process. So basically I combine grudge with everything and I try to test everything and I tell myself which one's necklace, which one's the ring. And basically there's a lot of presets that you can get into. And I do recommend searching for three, five or searching for five, three to give you the best summaries. Because if it's a four, it's not the best combination. And yes, you can get away with it on your final piece, but I prefer of getting something cheaper with the main class ability. So coming back to our notes, you can see that the necklace is the most expensive part with two main stats. I recommend bidding for those because bidding is much cheaper than buying out. And once you have the necklace ready, we will be filling up the rings and also earrings depending on what is missing. And we'll be avoiding negative debuffs. Because you can see here, I have avoided all the negative debuffs because the price point of those items is not massive. With the movement speed, with different debuffs, you can avoid this just by paying one or two thousand extra gold if you look into those. Now, do be aware as you bid for those items, they will cost 25 feons. At about 50 gold per feon on my server for 600 gold per 95 crystals, 25 feons is about 1250 gold. So, those are the exchange prices. You also want to be aware of the items you're buying, they have number of trade times. Notice this item can only be traded once more, and this item that can be traded twice or once or zero times. Be careful of that if you plan to resell those items. Now I mentioned earlier about the keeping a track of the most expensive combination. And if you come over here to my monitoring, the most expensive combination is Mayhem plus anything else. After that, it is actually Grudge plus Master Tenacity, so I avoided those two. Because I also have my books over here, so I just need three of those. So. Coming over here, in order to avoid the most expensive one, you can also find the cheapest combination. You just go over here and change the values. And once you find the correct items, keep a track of all, all the item values. So before you buy into any of the items, you want to keep a track of those prices. And I do recommend coming over to this over here. So again, this is a third party website. So be careful of this. This is not official. I found this on Reddit and this works. So just something simple. You want to keep up track of everything. So you can name yourself of the engravings if you want to. I just left it to like, you know, engraving one, engraving two. So keep a track of the engravings and keep a tally of how much you'll be spending if you get everything. For example, this one's mayhem for me, this one's master tenacity. And those are the ones I got from the stones. So this is also ability track calculator that you do want to use as you look into the accessories, because this will be the final part. Now, if you try to save some time, if you don't do something like this, I was actually trying to save some time. I was one engraving off because I miscalculated with a 5-8 stone. That wasted me like 50,000 or 100,000 gold. I was so annoyed at the time. So do use the tracker. If you use a counter or use a tracker, you can avoid a lot of mistakes and save a lot of gold. So the three tools that I'll be using, I'll be sharing those with you guys on the links. 
Now coming over to a bit of summary and also more tips with picking accessories. So the first thing I did was I did ability storm. So I did went for the ability storm beating and I got at least a 6-7 storm. After doing that, I also bought into the books because I realized at the time the books was a little cheaper before the inflation. So I bought into the books by monitoring them. So over here, you can see I've been monitoring those book prices. I no longer need to look into the book prices because I have bought those, right? So be aware, you can't trade those books. Those books can only be trade once. So once you buy them, you can't sell them. And once we have the ability stone and also the books for plus 12 equipped, I'll be going for necklace. After going for necklace, I'll be going for the rest of the combination for the cheapest purchase. Now, while we monitor the market, this might take you, you know, a few days or maybe a week to look into it. You'll find certain times of the day where items are much cheaper. And that time, I mean, is after the weekly reset. Usually on a Thursday, items will be much cheaper, including accessories, because players will be playing the raid, playing the, you know, Legion raids, and they will be getting a lot of items that they can sell. And this is when the price gets a bit down. Whether it's ability stones, whether it's accessories, players will be selling those items. So make sure you look into those for extra bargain. Now, in terms of the quality of preference, if you come over to my items over here, I'll show you guys over here. You can see that my necklace is about 84 quality, but everything else is very low, like 30, 40, 50, or 30. So I didn't go for high quality for my rings and also earrings, because I don't think the difference is that massive. But I did go for higher quality on the necklace because I believe the bonus effect for the critical rate and also swiftness is more effective this way. So that's the only expensive item I bought. Everything else is probably about 10,000 gold or a little below that. And finally, of course, guys, I still do recommend using a price tracker Excel. This is a very basic Excel. You can just fill up the numbers like I did over here. And because I didn't need much mayhem and also master tenacity, I didn't have to fill up too many of those. So I fill up most of those and I also had an option for six engravings. So Raid Captain was alternative. I was thinking if Rick Captain was cheaper, I'll go for Rick Captain. But turns out it was Scratch, King Blunt Weapon, and also Curse Tall I went for. Because Rick Captain wasn't much cheaper. And those were more raw damage for me for my build. Now hopefully you guys found this video helpful. I know guys, we didn't do the usual weekly video, but I want to do a video about the build and also what I'm planning. I do plan to make more videos on the changing of market rate and also prices. At the moment, prices are inflating in the server, and I'm not sure which point is the best to go into it. I don't want to get you guys to buy into expensive items and have the price to fall down, so I'm a little reluctant to make a video. On my previous videos, I talk about solar grays, and remember the last week's video, I was buying the solar grays for like 20 gold and selling those for 30 gold. I did not expect this to go to 50 gold. I still made about 80,000 gold by doing that, but I could have made like 200,000 gold if I knew what's, you know, the big inflation. So. It's hard to predict the market, but I'll try to make a video for you guys to see better summaries of when to buy items and when to sell items for at least to get some minimal profit while the market still goes up. And if the market is going down, I'll let you guys know as well. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do so because we'll be getting a lot of guides, a lot of tips as I discover them and I love the game. So I want to share as much as I can with you guys and let's have a great time in Lost Ark as we explore this game and get the most out of it.